Hello everyone, today we will cover selection tools and further discuss the layer options. Before that, let me know your feedback, and ask any questions you have regarding the last video. If you want more of this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's start the video with layer selection, which is used to select different areas of the layer based on the type of selection you choose. You can access the selection tools from the layer panel. Here, you get six selection types. First, we have select, that is used to select everything that is on the layer, and when you click select, the first option, select, is activated already. Next option we have is, add, this will help you add objects from other layers into your selection. To add objects into the active selection, click on the layer and choose, select, and click on, add. Next, we have subtract, there are two types of subtract options available, subtract, A, and subtract, B. Subtract, A, is used to subtract active layer from the selection, while subtract, B, is used to subtract non-active layer from the selection. Last two options in layer selection are, intersect, and difference. But before that, we have to clear all the selections, which can be done by accessing the selection option panel from upper left corner and press clear. Both intersect and difference work with two layers, so first select an initial layer. After that, click on the layer you want to intersect with the initial layer, then press, select, and choose, intersect. This will select the intersecting parts of both the layers. Now, for difference, we have to clear selection before we can apply, difference. This is because after we applied, intersect, initial selection has changed and the intersecting parts of the layers has become the selection. Because of this, if we apply difference on any layer it will be applied on the intersecting part and that new layer. And this applies to other selection options too, especially intersect, as they are not interchangeable. After clearing the selection, choose your initial layer, then click on the other layer and apply difference. This will select the non-intersecting parts of the layers. After layer selection, we have selection options panel. Here, we can choose different actions that can be applied to the selection. But please remember that the active layer will affect the action performed. Let's talk about merge from the layer panel. Once selected, the active layer will merge into the layer below. So, remember to make the upper layer active of the two layers you want to merge. And if you want to unmerge the two merged layers, simply press, undo, as there is no unmerge button. That's it for the layer options. Let's go back to the layer panel and see how group options work. For accessing group options, we have to create a group again. Then click on the group, and group options will open. These options are similar to layer options. They have all the layer options, and the only extra options are flatten and ungroup. Flatten and merge are similar to each other. Layers in a group can be merged just like regular layers by using merge, although the group will continue to be a group and you can drag more layers inside. While by using flatten you can merge the whole group into one layer. The final topic we need to cover is layer rendering from the layer panel. Layer rendering button is available on the upper right corner of the layer panel, it is the last button on the upper button bar. After clicking, you'll have three choices, color, gamma correction, and render. Each of these options will affect all the layers in your drawing. Color mode lets you switch between different color modes, this will have an effect on how the colors look in your artwork. Gamma correction is used to blend the three RGB colors more cohesively, this is better for when you are using soft-edged brushes. Lastly, we have render, this will let you change how the layers appear on screen. You have three options, normal, where all the layers will appear as they are now. Solo, where only the active layer will be visible. And trace, where all the layers will be transparent and only active layer will be fully opaque. If you want to get out of any of these rendering modes, you can click this button, here. That's it for this video, thank you for your time. If you like this type of content, please like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, so you can be notified for the latest update.